do not use npm install because today an npm package named tiny color got attacked and the attacker installed a malware that will hijack the publish process inject a malicious script runs automatically on install scans for tokens like from npm github aws or gcp so your env files or n files are not safe at all and lastly drop a github actions workflow to persist and exfiltrate secrets Wow. Oh, by the way, shout out to Ferris on Twitter. And yes, this incident affected 40 plus packages. And these are the following packages that were affected. We have Angularitics, we have the ones from Control, we have the ones from Native Script Community. So with that said, if you have installed at least one of the following packages, make sure that you remove them. I'll put the link of this page in the description below so you can check them yourself. Okay, so let's talk about the malware. So first of all, it's going to inject the following bundle.js file and then it's going to download truffle hog which is a legitimate secret scanner it's going to scan your local files and then search for tokens or cloud credentials and it's going to validate them and once they are validated the bundle.js script is going to create a github action workflow inside a repository so that whenever it builds a new ci or whenever there is a ci build it's going to keep exfiltrating stuff to the webhook as you can see right over over here. In short, all of your cloud credentials and tokens are sent to the following URL. We can see here how it downloaded Truffle Hog and how it scans all of your files. And then it's going to create the following workflow and then send whatever is inside of the following file to the following webhook. So guys, by the time you're watching this video, if you have installed packages pretty recently, uninstall them and make sure that you rotate all of your secrets. And lastly, run npm audit to scan your projects for vulnerabilities. It is a very important step. Also, keep an eye out for your AWS usages or other API usages. But honestly, as long as you rotate your secrets, you will be fine. So if you don't know, this is the second attack already. Last week, the package chalk got attacked, or should I say hacked, because the developer did not realize that the login page is a phishing website. I cannot believe that we're still getting hacked through phishing. I feel like this is an issue back in 2012. But you know what? I can completely understand because there are domain names that literally look safe. This is called Unicode domain phishing. Essentially, hackers would use Unicode text to name their websites, like official websites, for example, apple.com. Notice that the letter A goes like this, but the phishing website looks like this. You would not realize that they're not the same. It's so hard to identify which one is real, which one is fake. And a lot of people would not realize that, especially if you are using browsers that do not show the address bar. For example, Arc. My advice is to please use two-factor please use two-factor authentication so only you can access your account. Unless your phone got stolen, then you're basically fucked. At this point, I feel like there should be a new process, not just for publishing NPM packages, but also getting domain names. Like use registry expressions to ensure that the letter is a real letter from A to Z. A to Z. Anyway, that is the breaking news for today. I was really hesitant to cover the NPM incident or the chalk incident, but now that it happened twice, I feel like, yeah, I need to talk about this. <laughs> Again, keep an eye out for your projects and please rotate your tokens. That is the best solution for now. You know, do not update anything, especially if you think your packages are safe. Keep it there.